given to you whenever a gives thousand rupees to be for using that money b returned some extra money to a that extra money is called interest that extra money is called interest it may be simple or compound but uh, yesterday in simple interest i clearly said that one point to you the amount of simple interest is same for every time period the amount of simple interest is same for every time period under the simple interest but coming to the compound interest for example for example for the 1000 rupees 10 percentage is rate of interest per annum 10 percentage is the rate of interest per annum here for the first year for the first year we have to calculate the interest on thousand nothing but second person has to pay 100 rupees extra than initial sum the total 1100 rupees but for the second year we have to calculate compound interest on the total amount which is getting in the previous year not on thousand okay it mean that the interest only paid by the second person is 110 plus up to one first year the total amount is 1100 up to two years at the end of the two years he has to pay 1210 for the third year we have to calculate the interest on 1210 rupees nothing but 121 plus 121 plus the total amount for the one year, two years is 1210 total 1331 what you understood for the first year 100 rupees for the second year 110 for the third year 121 the amount of compound interest is different for every time period because we calculate the compound interest on the total amount which is getting in the previous year for the second year we calculate on first year amount for the third year we calculate on second year amount for the third year we calculate on third year amount like that get it so write down write down the amount of the amount of compound interest is the amount of compound interest is different the amount of compound interest is different for every for every time period the amount of compound interest is different for every time period because because we calculate because we calculate the compound interest because we calculate the compound interest on on the total amount on the total amount which is getting which is getting in previous year which is getting in the previous year remember there is no direct formula for the compound interest okay we have the formula for the total amount under the compound interest write down amount is equal to amount is equal to p into amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n
amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n whenever whenever compounded whenever compounded annually whenever compounded annually whenever compounded annually okay so yesterday as we know amount is equal to p plus interest that may be ci or si from that compound interest is equal to amount minus principal value that is the way we have to find the compound interest remember there is no direct formula for the compound interest clear clear next one y amount is equal to y amount is equal to p into p into 1 plus 1 plus r by 2 by 100 1 by 2 1 plus r by 2 by 100 whole power 2n whole power 2n so whenever you have to implement this formula in particular case whenever compounded compounded half yearly whenever compounded half yearly okay so half yearly means for every 6 months we have to calculate r is the rate of interest for annum r by 2 is the rate of interest for 6 months that is the reason r becomes r by 2 and whole power n becomes 2n why if you have to calculate the interest for every one year for one year one time for two years two times for three years three times but if you have to calculate for every half year for one year two times for 2 years 2 into 2 4 times for 3 years 3 into 2 6 times for n years 2 into n times next one y amount is equal to y amount is equal to p into p into 1 plus 1 plus r by 4 1 plus r by 4 by 100 whole power whole power 4n so this is applicable whenever we have to calculate the compound interest quarterly means for every 3 months r is the rate of interest for annum for year r by 2 is the rate of interest for 6 months and r by 4 is the rate of interest for clear if they particularly mention then you have to apply otherwise no need ma by default amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n only let on the examples penai all of you noted down
Shall I move for examples? Yeah, right now. What is the compound interest on What is the compound interest on twelve thousand rupees in two years? Twelve thousand rupees in two years at ten percent per annum. Okay. So what exactly they given? <clears throat> Always we have to calculate the interest on sum, but we have the formula that A is equal to P into one plus R by hundred whole power N. If they do not mention anything, whether it is a half yearly or quarterly. So your P value is 12,000. And the number of years are two and R value, the rate of interest is 10. That is the way we have to find the amount. So amount is equal to 12,000 into one plus R value 10, 10 by 100 whole power two. Go with your own cancellations ma. 10 by 100 means 1 by 10. 1 plus 1 by 10 means 11 by 10. 1 plus 1 by 10 means 11 by 10. One plus 1 by 10 means 11 by 10. Whole square. So what is the value of 11 square? 121. And what is the value of 10 square? 100. So in the denominator 100, in the numerator 12,000, two zeros cancel ma. So finally, what is the answer? 120 into 121, do it post. Do it post. Try to spend some time for the calculation, everyone. 120 into 121. Okay, I'll have you get it ma. Next one. 14,520 is the total amount. That is not the compound interest. Be careful. What exactly required? Please focus. We need CI. Compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. Next one. Find the compound interest on Find the compound interest on 10,000 rupees. Find the compound interest on 10,000 rupees in two years. 
in two years at 20 percent per annum in two years at 20 percent per annum compounded of yearly okay so whenever they particularly mention compounded of yearly what is the formula amount is equal to p into 1 plus r becomes r by 2 whole power n becomes 2n whole power n becomes 2n so r value 20 and n value 2 years more so p value 10000 given 10,000 into 1 plus R value 20 by 2 by 100 okay whole power 2 into 2 Clear? Next one. One plus one by ten, eleven by ten whole power four. If you know direct value of eleven for four, you can go with direct value. Otherwise, no problem. Ten thousand and ten power four both are cancelled in the numerator and denominator 11 4 4 is the answer 121 into 121 11 square into 11 square so 14641 but we need the only compound interest now so we have to subtract the amount with the principal 14641 minus 10000 that is equal to Four six four one. Clear. Next one, ma, 4641. A sum amounts to whatever the models we covered in simple interest, the same problems are also covered, will cover in compound interest. A sum amounts to 11,520 in two years. 11,520 in two years at 20% for annum. At 20% for annum. Compounded annually. Then find the principal. So a sum amounts to 11,520. We don't know what is the sum. Yes. So let us assume P value is X, but 11,520 is 11,520 is the total amount. But we have the formula directly. Amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N.
Okay. So R value 20 whole power the number of years are 2. is equal to 1 plus 1 by 5, 6 by 5 whole square nothing but 36 by 25 okay which is equal to 11520 into 25 by 36 read postma P value is 8000. Next one. In what time 4000 amounts to? In what time will 4000 amounts to? 5324. 5324. Get 10% for annum. 5324 at 10% per annum, which is which is compounded annually, compounded annually. We have to find the number of years. Don't worry about the formula. First of all, what exactly they given? Please implement in a proper way. So, four thousand is the principal, and five three two four is the total amount. A value is five three two four, and P value is four thousand. Okay. So five three two four is equal to four thousand into one plus R value is given 10% directly, 1 plus 10 by 100, whole power 10. Don't worry about the calculation. 5324 by 4000. Is equal to 1 plus 1 by 10. 10 by 100 means 1 by 10. 1 plus 1 by 10. So 1 plus 1 by 10 means 11 by 10. One plus one by ten. Nothing but eleven by ten. So if you observe clearly, five three two four and four thousand both are multiples of four. So five three two four by four thousand. If we cancel it ma four thousand jar four thousand and four thirteen jar fifty two. 4 3 are 12 and 4 1 are 1 3 3 1 5 thousand. 1 3 3 1 by 1000. So 1 3 3 1 by 1000 means 1 3 3 1 is the value of 11 cube and 1000 is the value of 10 cube. 
So 11 by 10 whole power n is equal to 11 by 10 whole power 3, 11 cube by 10 cube. So whenever the bases are equal, powers are also equal. Na? So n is equal to 3. Three first. Next one. A certain sum of money linked it. Certain sum of money lent it. Compound interest. Certain sum of money lent it. Compound interest becomes. We don't know what is the sum of the money, but it becomes three seven five zero in two years. 3750 in two years and the same sum becomes 4000 in three years and the same sum becomes 4000 in three years find the rate of interest You know, what is the formula? P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. That may be for 2 years or 3 years. But N value is 2, 2 for 2 years. N value is 3 for 3 years. Yes. So, but the amount they clearly given that P750, the P value we don't know in both the cases. First of all, what exactly the given? Please note down. The amount value 3750 is equal to P value P into P don't know into one plus R value is not given one plus R by hundred whole power number of years are two four thousand in three years for same P with the same rate of interest P into one plus R by hundred whole power three. One plus R by hundred whole power three. <clears throat> okay. So if you observe clearly, if you solve both the equations, equation one and equation two, like one by two, ma. Like one by two. Equation one by equation two. So P and P both are cancelled now. And here. Yeah, 1 plus r by 100 two times are there here three times are there so two to cancel only one time left here also zero zero cancel now only the possible is to find the rate of interest easily 375 by 4000 is 400 is equal to 1 by 1 plus r by 100 if you reverse the ratio 1 plus r by 100 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 is equal to 400 by 375 400 by 375 so 400 means 25 16 year 25 15 year is it possible to find the rate of interest yes do it fast ma do it fast R by 100 is equal to 1 minus 16 by 15 minus 1. 1 by 15. R is equal to 100 by 15. 20 by 3. Okay. Next one.
नेक्स्ट वन क्लियर ट्वेंटी बाई थ्री होप आर ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड योगेश फॉर वॉट फाइव पॉइंट टू सिक्स Next one, next model. A sum of money doubles itself. A sum of money doubles itself. In six, it compound interest in six years. in how many years in how many years will it become eight times itself Okay. So what exactly they given? Please understand my everyone. See the calculation part on the screen. Okay, so x becomes six x becomes two x in six years. The same model also we already covered. X becomes two x in six years. The same sum x becomes eight times itself. Eight x in how many years? That is the question. okay okay so easy please see the screen ma how to calculate easily don't confuse without knowing the r value without knowing the x value how can you get it sir please see the screen so in this particular case a value is 2x p value is x x becomes 2x in how many years 6 years 1 plus r by 100 whole power 6 okay so right hand side and left hand side x and x cancel them out of the bracket 1 plus r by 100 whole power 6 now both the sides cube on both the sides because we need to get the sum becomes 8 times na 8 is a power of 2 2 power 3 cube on both the sides and moreover don't think that sir if it is not a power of 2 what will you do the company people knows whether it is possible to get the answer within 1 minute or within 90 seconds or within 30 seconds okay so 8 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole power 18 Multiply x on both the sides, man. There is no effect, na. Multiply x on both the sides. 8x is equal to x into 1 plus r by 100 whole power 18. Okay. So here, x becomes 2x in six years. 
द सेम एक्स बिकम्स एट एक्स इन हाउ मेनी इयर्स एटीन इयर्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर एटीन इयर्स में अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट वट एक्जैक्टली दे गिवेन डोंट बी हरी टू गेट द आंसर्स ओके फोकस ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वन कॉम्बिनेशन प्रॉब्लम्स में रिलेटेड टू सिंपल एंड कॉम्पाउंड बोथ नोट नोट पॉइंट नंबर वन फॉर वन इयर वन इयर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज जीरो डिट इज रिमेम्बर द अमाउंट ऑफ सिंपल एंड कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट वी हेव टू कैलकुलेट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर इज ऑन the initial sum there is no difference between compound and simple for one year second one for two years for two years ci minus si compound interest minus simple interest the difference is direct formula p into r by 100 whole power 2 p into r by 100 whole power 2 P into R by hundred whole power two. P into R by hundred whole power two. So no need to find a simple separate compound separate ma. Okay, direct one. A three years C I minus S I is equal to P into R by hundred whole power three. S three P. Into R by hundred whole power two. P into R by hundred whole power three plus three P R by hundred whole power two. So these are the three formulas we have to focus on the combination of both simple as well as the compound interest. Okay. Find the difference between. Find the difference between simple and compound interest on. Find the difference between simple and compound interest on twenty-five thousand rupees at twenty-five thousand rupees at twenty percent for annum for two years. Hope all of you understood. Twenty percent for annum for two years. Okay. Write down method one. Method one. First of all, you have to find the SI value. To find the SI value, what is the direct formula? It is R by hundred. So P value twenty five thousand. And T value number of years are two, and R value is twenty. Twenty-five thousand into two into twenty by hundred by hundred. Okay. If you want to go for the compound interest, first of all, you have to find the amount, na, P into R plus one plus R by hundred whole power n. So P value is twenty five thousand, and R value is twenty 
and n value is 2 25000 into 1 plus 20 by 100 whole power 2 cleared all of you yes so 20 by 100 means 1 by 5 so 20 5000 into 1 plus 1 by 5 means 6 by 5 whole power 2 so 6 square by 5 square 36 by 25 means 25 1 year 25 1 year so 36000 that is the total amount under the compound interest so what is the compound interest value automatically compound interest is equal to amount minus principal value 36 minus 25 11000 11, 11 but we don't want compound interest separately and simple interest separately we need the difference now so compound interest is 11000 and simple interest is 10000 the difference is 1000 the difference is how much 1000 okay the difference is how much now 1000 next one next one Compound interest minus simple interest. Direct formula if you want to apply. Method 2. Write down. Compound interest minus simple interest is equal P into R by 100 whole square for 2 years. P value 25,000. And R value 20. This is the another way. Within 5 seconds you may get the answer. Okay. So this is the combination of both simple and compound. Now, I want to give one more example. Just you have to solve it. Find the difference between Find the difference between compound interest and simple interest on 45,000 rupees at a 12% for annum for two years. Once if you understand directly, you have to apply the shortcut method. Na? Okay. So why should you have to go for again method one? Okay. Then height and is the simple interest. If you want to go for the compound interest, ma. Here. So forty five thousand into one twelve by hundred whole square. So hundred whole square means four zeros are there in the denominator, three zeros cancel. Ma. 
112 whole square means 12,544. 56,448. That is the amount now. If you want to go for the compound interest, 56,448 minus 45,000. 11,448. But the difference is 640. 11,448 minus 10,800. Otherwise, we have to implement the formula directly. So, up to that, any doubts? Clear? So, 45,000 into direct formula 12 by 100 whole square. So, 12 by 100 means 144 by 10,000. 12 square means 144 by 12 square means 144 by 100 square means 10,000. Okay. So that is about simple and compound interest, one of the most important topic. Next one. Write down five examples for the practice purpose. Important one. Write down. Now down these examples now. Important one. Clear more of you. Find a simple interest on thousand rupees at four percent per annum for a period of four years. Second one, Mahesh borrowed three thousand from his friend Suresh at fifteen percent per annum for three years. Find the interest and money returned to Mahesh by Mahesh to Suresh. Third one, at what rate of simple interest? At what rate of simple interest will a sum becomes four times itself? In a sum becomes four times itself in 30 years. Will a sum becomes four times itself in 30 years. Fourth one, in six years, certain sum doubles itself under SI. In how many years will the sum become three times itself? Okay. So we covered these models now from your side. You have to practice. So up to that, any doubts? So due to network, I am unable to connect. Okay. So that is the reason we, today we started the class five to ten minutes late. Any doubt up to that now? Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. All the best.